on Saturday, Cat and Jaycee, and it's getting hot outside, so I've got these cats for my family, and I'm going to be using these marker pens to decorate them. For my mama, I'm going to do a nature scene because she's so I'm kind. Off by doing some vines, I think. I'm trying to make it drip down, but not just like in a straight line. Vines don't do that. To show that I love her, I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna try and. I've also got one for myself and my dad. My dad I can't do just yet because he wants to make sure he likes the design I'm going to do. I can just tell you that I'm going to do a lot of red. He wanted a red hat but the only one I could get was a blue, a pink and a white. The white's for my mum. It's the one I'm doing right now. Thanks for me and the blue is my dad. So I've got these outliners I'm going to use. And then I'm going to do a blue sky, so I'm gonna mix these two paints together. I added in some more white. This looks like a nicer blue. That's my dark blue and my white to get this lovely sky blue. Now let's get painting. I like to paint. I like to paint. I just like to paint. songs I like to change up to the same painting. I've got the song I like to move it, move it. It's a nice song. I will change it to I like to paint. I like to paint it, paint it. I like to paint it. I like to mix it. I like to do 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 it. So right now I'm just mixing. I'm gonna put Purple colour around the heart. So I'm going to redraw the outline at the heart with this darker pink I have. No, this pink isn't nice. It's nice on its own with no neon, the one I've originally done it with. Now I'm going to do it with the paint. It's the night. Oh, am I even doing it? I was doing it wrong. Forgot to take off the cap. Oopsie. While the heart is drying, I'm going to do the bottom part of the cap. I'm going to mix a brand new purple, not with a purple and a white, with a red and my blue. this paintbrush and I'm going to try and use this to make a nice brim. Okay, kind of bad. I'm just going to take some of this lighter purple and I mix.
for large areas like this bit, the top bit, I use the paint, but for smaller details, I like to use markers. I'm gonna see, is that color nice? No. It's the next day, and as you can see, I've done some lines with marker on the cap and today I am going to redo them with some paint. I'm gonna make this look interesting. Just yes, I will be using purple for my hat. Spoiler alert. I should have set spoiler alert first. My mum's gonna be the most stylish person in her work. Her boss will say, buy me a hat like that. And yep, and my mum will have to say, I can't. My daughter Josie made it, designed it, and painted it all by herself. And I'll say, Where can I find the footage? And it'll be on YouTube. Just like you are watching it on YouTube right now. I'm gonna make you look cool and do like three blobs right here and only three blobs. Oh come on, you have to like that. For my hat, it's all paint. No, it's not all paint. I'm just gonna use markers for an outline. I don't need these marker lines. I'm going full on painting. This is like terrible paint job. I need this neon blue that I, I used it on my mum's hat. I'm just going to do the same dotty thing I did. And now everyone at school is going to say, where did you buy that hat? And I'll say, made it. What do you do? But I did crafty Josie to find out how. My amazing hat is not finished. You were probably expecting me to say it was finished, but it's not. What I'm doing is I'm doing more little splotches to show how much I love little splotches. The next day, these are the finished hats, they are dry, see, and now I'm going to model them, but before we do that, remember, comment down below which one you prefer, for mine, splodges win, for my mum's, mum's are the best, now let's go. I hope you enjoyed the video and me and my unicorn say bye!